we're here today talking about uh, the Great Lakes Regional, our, our preview, our qualifying tournament to the Nationals. Um, this year we have 28 guys that qualify um, out of our regional, the Great Lakes Regional, held at Augsburg this Saturday. Uh, basically that means the top two guys at every weight and eight wild cards. And, and uh, looking kind of at where we're at, I think we got a great shot to get seven guys in out of our ten starters. Uh, of course we're shooting for ten, but uh, we're trying to be a little realistic too. I, I have a Kind of have a knack for going uh, with unrealistic expectations, but this is one of them that I think could be pretty beneficial. So we're going to fight like crazy to get 10 guys in, um, and, and anything less than that we'll, we'll take, but uh, we sure would like to get 10 guys in. Uh, going through the weight classes, 125 will be Scott Paternos for us. He's 500 on the year right now, about 8-8. Eight and eight. Should have a, a top 6 seed going into the tournament. Uh, next at 133, we'll have Mogi Buttar, a senior, three-time qualifier. Um, he should be the three seed going in. At 141, we have the defending national champion, Minga Batsuk, and he should be the one seed, I think, overall. 149, we have Drew Larson. Um, Drew could go anywhere from three to six as far as seeds go, so it's going to be kind of one of those fun things to see kind of how that plays out. Uh, at 157, we have John Bite. Um, John's really wrestled well in the last part of the season here. Um, I would look for him to be one of the six or seven seed, but kind of the surprising guy on our team, I think, that'll, that'll probably pull some upsets at this weekend's tournament. So at 165, we have Matt Barson. Matt's 22-2 uh, and two on the year, only one Division three loss, so I think he'll be the clear-cut number one seed. Then at 174, we have Matt Farr, who's coming back off, to, off of an injury, um, beat the, the number three-ranked guy in the country from Augsburg, should have the seed above him, could possibly go two seed. We're hoping the one seed, but it could go two or three. Um, as well, two or three doesn't really matter on the bottom side of the bracket, but we sure would like him in that one spot. At 184, we're going to wrestle Mitch Hagen. He's a freshman, really turned it on for us at the end of the year, beat the number three ranked guy in the country in Division Two from St. Cloud just this past week. He'll be about the four seed at 184. At 197, we're bumping uh, Tony Willard from 197 to heavyweight, and we'll be putting James Carlson in, who's wrestled 184 all year, and James will be about the five seed. And then finally, uh, Tony Willard to, to finish things off. Uh, he had a Tough 1-0 loss to a, to a, a top 10 ranked guy um, um, two weeks ago, and then he lost another one to the, to the number 6 ranked guy in Division Two by a close match, and uh, we're expecting great things out of him as the four seed. So I would really uh, expect us to place high as a team, finish first, second, and third at, uh, at the Great Lakes Regional, which has 15 teams in it, and, uh, and I'd like to see 7 to 10 guys get in the national tournament for us. So it should be a fun week, and, and we've had a lot of fun preparing for it. So. We'll see you next week where, you know, where we're sitting going into the national tournament.